Politics is in the air. Can't you just smell it? Jake Peterson is out taking the political pulse around town. It's a big political event tonight as the two presidential candidates square off for the very first time and it might look something like this. Ow, that's gotta hurt. Hey, what's Ron Paul doing in there? Seriously, the Tampa Bay area is already voting with their sweet tooth. Frida's Bakery in Largo has been running their own unofficial election as they tally up the number of Obama and Romney cookies they sell. At last check, the Obama cookies are selling at 53% compared to Romney's 47. 7-Eleven has their poll going as they sell red and blue cups along party lines. So far, Democratic cups are selling at 57% in Florida compared to Republican cups at 43%. Both the convenience store and the local bakery have accurately predicted the last several elections. Also on our list, how did campaigns connect with voters before TV ads? Campaign uh, committees would have pipes made. Here we have two examples, one from the Franklin Roosevelt uh, Times. South Florida Museum curator Matthew Woodside knows all about past elections. He says if a pipe didn't do it, how about a complimentary bandana or a walking stick? The voters back then were lucky because they got a lot of swag from these elections. They did. The museum is showcasing mudslinging memorabilia from elections past until this year's race is over. Did you know back in the day a top hat worked kind of like a bumper sticker? They would have an image of their candidate inside the top hat. So if they met on the street, another gentleman on the street, all they had to do was take their hat off and just discreetly let the other gentleman see who was inside his hat. And if the faces inside the hat don't match, this could be the end result. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.